Long time no see. It's very nice to see all of you smiling faces out there. I can't actually really see you, but uh, it's still nice to imagine that. So that's pretty awesome. I have taken a shorter break from making videos for the channel, but I thought I would just jump in and make a short one telling you about a new update that GGI has released for the GGI Fly app. We were previously using the 116, but one of you guys wrote me and told me there was a 118 released. And of course, I jumped into the App Store to see if that was the thing. And I could verify, at least for iOS, that it's available 118 and it adds a few features to the drone. It's not a very big update, but it's, uh, it has at least a very nice feature that I think you will appreciate. Before we look into that feature, then I will say welcome. My name is Henrik Olsen and welcome to another video. And if you want to learn how to make better videos with your drone and your camera and your drone being the Mavic Mini, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. If we take a look at the App Store description of what's new, it's basically 118. It adds display for remaining storage space on camera view. It fixes app crash issues and improves overall stability. Let's just jump into the app so I can show you what it actually looks like. So when you're in here in the front screen of the Fly app, we need to switch it into video. And once we are in video mode, you can see here in the bottom, you can see there is some information displayed. So uh, what will happen here, if I start recording, you will basically be able to see that right now we are recording in 2.7K, 30 frames per second. I will be able to see that I have approximately six minutes left on the SD card. If I tap on this, it will actually tell me how much storage in gigabyte that I have left on the SD card. So that's a pretty nice uh, information to have available directly from the flash screen. So when I, if I just take off here, I fly around here, fly here, fly, 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 just turn around. So you can see that the counter in the bottom of the screen, if I just tap it again, it would say that it simply counts down as long as it's recording. So that's a pretty nice feature. Apart from that, there's some promised uh, stability fixes as mentioned. And I guess we just have to see <laughs> how, what fixes they are. That's, uh, that's like, uh, like mentioning a big bucket. Uh, there's no, not really any details about what you're getting uh, in that regards. By the way, did you see the video where you could basically turn your Mavic Mini into a 360 capturing device? You need to jump over and use a different app than the DJI Fly app to be able to do that. And that's the Litchi app that has uh, now support for the Mavic Mini. With that one, you can create some amazing 360 stuff right out of the box. And the best part is that the drone actually stitches the photos for you. So you don't need to spend time on that. In case you missed that video, you can access this through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.